shuffling atop the men's standings of the Olympus U.S. Open Series thanks to some scuffling among the top players in the world north of the border. Welcome to week number four of the Olympus U.S. Open Series. The draw remains in perfect order come semifinal Saturday in Toronto at the Rogers Cup presented by National Bank, an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event. The top four seeds advance for the first time in the history of the tournament. Number one, Rafael Nadal brings an eight and three record into his match against number four and defending champion Andy Murray. His most recent win coming at the semis in Wimbledon. But all three of Murray's wins have come on hard courts and the Brit's skill at the baseline is one reason why. He grabs the first service break for a 5-3 lead and nails three of his nine aces in the next game to take the first set. After exchanging service breaks in the second, Murray breaks again to go up 5-4 and serves out for a chance at his second straight title in Canada. Roger Federer arrives in Toronto seated third at a tournament for the first time since 2003. He has won twice in Canada but enters his semifinal matchup with something to prove against rival and number two seed Novak Djokovic. Djokovic has won three of their last five meetings, and today's battle would determine the number two ranking. Federer wastes no time in making a statement, winning the first set in 25 minutes and jumping to a 2-0 lead in the second. But Novak says no finally and breaks Federer twice, and we go to a third set. Roger nails six of his 11 aces here and avoids a tiebreak by breaking Djokovic at 6-5. He clinches on his first match point secures his place in the final against Murray and regains the number two ranking he lost two months ago. Andy Murray rarely plays as though he's intimidated by Roger Federer, evidence being a 6-5 overall record versus the Swiss, though he had lost three straight including their last meeting in this year's Australian Open final. After a rain delayed start, Murray asserts himself with an early break of serve and leads three love. But Federer works his way back breaking Murray as the Scot tries to serve for the set at 5-all. But Andy finds his rhythm and doesn't falter a second time, winning the opening set 7-5. The second set is marred by numerous rain delays and inconsistent play from both men. The lead seesaws back and forth before Murray returns to the attacking style that had pushed him through the draw all week long. He positions himself out in front at 6-5 and serving for the title, Murray again struggles for a moment and ultimately closes out the match in two hours for career title number 15. Andy Murray defends his 2009 Canadian title by defeating Federer 7-5, 7-5 and becomes just the fifth man to defeat both Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal in the same tournament. Each title sets a new record as the winningest doubles team of all time, Bob and Mike Bryan, win number 63 in straight sets, defeating the French duo of Julien Benetau and Michael Lodra. It's the brothers' seventh title of the year and finds them reclaiming the top ranking in men's doubles. Now for a look at the men's standings in the Olympus U.S. Open Series bonus challenge. Andy Murray grabs a commanding lead in first place with 145 points. David Nalbandian takes second place with 95. And the talented trio of Federer, Fish, and Query are all locked in a three-way tie for third, each with 70 points. Up next, the men trade places with the women in Cincinnati for the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters, another ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event. You can watch the action on Tennis Channel, ESPN2, and CBS. Check the TV schedule page right here on OlympusUSOpenSeries.com for days and times. I'm Kevin Skinner. Thank you for watching highlights of the 2010 Olympus US Open Series.